Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at the Firefly Fire Starter Toothpick thing for your Swiss Army knives. And if you haven't run into the Firefly thing yet, what it is is there was a Kickstarter a little while back for this particular item and they've since been selling them. I think it took me two or three months to get my pre-order. And anyway, it came in, and I'll include links in the description if you want to check out either of these things. And what it is, is it's basically like a fire starter that you can use to replace the toothpick, or maybe the tweezers, in your Swiss Army knife. I think it's probably just a toothpick, though, from the look of it. Uh, in your Swiss Army knife. And that way, you can add a fire starter to your everyday carry, and not have it drastically impact anything, and just kind of be part of your Swiss Army knife. Now, they make these for the traditional 91 millimeters, and they also make them for the classic size, the 58 millimeters. And what I did was I got a, it was like a four pack, where you get two and two, and I want to say it was $18. So, it's kind of nifty, and it's made in the United States. Let's see if there's anything particularly exciting that we need to worry about. Uniquely tailored mix of rare earth metals and additives. Quality superior striking steels. Twice the break strength and twice as easy to spark as a typical fire steel. Uh, firefly striking sparking material is also softer so it throws bigger sparks. Alright, so it's twice as strong but softer. Uh, anyway, doesn't really matter. The thumb grip of the firefly is glow in the dark for high visibility. Come to two sizes. All right, so let's check this thing out. And it gives us instructions on how to do it, too. All right. So it's suggesting I use the back of a saw, which means I have to grab a knife that has a saw on it. I'll tell you what. Let's, um... I've got a compact, and I've got a classic here. So we'll test out the fit of these. And then we'll see if we how the sparking thing goes. So let's open them up. It is not recommended you use the knife edge as it will dull your knife. Eh, fair point. Alright, so let's see if I can get this thing open. Looks like it kind of unsnaps. Maybe it unsnaps. I have this feeling that I'm going to just send these things flying everywhere. Alright. Maybe I got oh, enough that I can pop it off. Aha! I'll teach you packaging. There are a few problems that can't be solved with the right Swiss Army knife. So in this case, I use mine. And so pliers, basically useless for pliering things sometimes help you savage a package if you need to. Alright, so there's that. Actually, let's try it out with my knife. Alright, so this is supposed to replace the toothpick. Seems I'm, I'm not bending it super hard. I don't want to snap these in half. But it seems like it's not just snapping immediately. So let's check and see. Toothpick and this. So size wise, it's a little bit longer than the toothpick, but that shouldn't really matter because as you can see from the translucent scale, there is extra space. So let's slide it in. All right, so it fits pretty good so far. Ha ha ha! That's kind of cool. All right, now let's check the glow in the darkness of this real quick. Uh, let's, I'll light that up super bright for a second. And let's see if you can see the glowing. Alright, can y'all see that it's sort of glowing a little bit? Maybe. There you go. That's kind of... Okay, so it's glowing. It's glowing a little bit. That's not bad. So how do we test the sparking of it? I've been thinking about that. And let me grab 
I don't know what it is. There's something on here snagging. There's like a little loose piece of something snagging my gloves. All right. So let's let me grab a scissor knife to test this out. One with a saw on it. Uh, all right. And I have as what everyone obviously needs laying around. A bag of three dollars Swiss Army knife campers, a Victorinox campers. Apparently, I'm not able to work a bag today. Here we go. All right, camper has a saw, right? Yeah, it's got a saw. All right, so there we go. We got a saw. Okay. So it says we're supposed to. Strike down the firefly towards the tender, blah, blah, blah. All right. I'm going to not set anything fire on fire right here. Just, But I do want to see if we can get some sparks. And I had a theory about how to sort of support this a little extra. But I'm going to try this. I'm going to try unsupported first. Everything's out to get my gloves today. All right. So this is a little like this. Hold it like this, press down. Oh, okay. So we're getting some pretty good sparks. Hmm. Alright, so there's a little let's see if the burniness comes off this should come off pretty easy. Yep. No big damage to the back of your knife. So the sparks are pretty easy. Okay, my theory about how to strengthen this, if you needed to, would be, what I was thinking you could do is you could actually do something like this, where you have, you take the pin, if your knife has a pin, and you hold them together, and that way what you could do is the, the flint would be braced against the pin, and it would give it added support, and that way you could bear down on it much harder if you wanted to. And it would basically like give it a little support. Yeah, anyway, that was my thought. So, that's kind of cool. Alright, so that one works pretty good. Uh, let's test out. Here's a Swiss Army Knife Classic. And we're going to de-toothpickify it. So, toothpick removed. And let's try the small one. All right, it's a little bit tighter of a fit, but also fits just fine. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Man, I wish, I wish you could have like the toothpick, the pen, the tweezers, and this. Hmm. It's a shame. Can you see right there? It's a shame that there's not a spot right there to insert it. Because as you can see, we have a pin, we have the toothpick, we have the we have the pin, we have the toothpick. I lost my toothpick. We have the toothpick. And then what we could do is we could maybe insert the small one. Like we can insert it here. Well, it'd be a little bit smaller. It'd be a tough fit. But you can get one about that long. Eh, I don't know. Kind of interesting. Anyway, let me know what you think. <laughs> this seems like a pretty cool Swiss Army Knife addition to me. I like it. Um, links in the description below if you want to check them out. And if you have any questions or ideas or things that I have neglected that I need to do, let me know. And if there's anything cool or any new Swiss Army Knife gadgets that I should look at, let me know in the comments, because I am, as you probably have guessed, a big Swiss Army Knife fan. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.